in today's video. Hi guys, welcome to today's video about cockroaches. More specifically, this Periplaneta uh, quadrinatata, uh, a species that I found recently in Thailand during my holidays where I traveled from north to south in, uh, in, in several different forests looking for different species of cockroaches and I was able to find fantastic beautiful beautiful looking species sometimes I was lucky I found some mated females sometimes I was unlucky and found only some males and this is the case with this Periplaneta quadrinatata unfortunately I was only able to find a single male nymph uh, sometimes I didn't have enough t uh, time to to stay in the to look for them uh, I only had like a couple of hours and so that this was the case I I'm, ex I'm still keeping it in hopes that uh, when I return to Thailand hopefully next month I'll be able to find some more nymphs or uh, adult females uh, to breed with him so hopefully he will not go to waste and uh, that we will be able to introduce this species into the hobby that would be a fantastic achievement I think uh, I've been loving keeping roaches and all the people in the the community in the roach keeping community are so friendly and welcoming that I truly think this would be a great uh, privilege to to be the to introduce this species give back to the community um, so I'm keeping it for me of course it's not a, uh, it's not a loss because just enjoying looking at it it's fantastic black body jet black body with those yellow striking markings um, it's just uh, breathtaking and and I cannot wait to see this guy uh, maturing out hopefully with a female next to him but I cannot wait to see him mature uh, so that I can take even better and better looking pictures than what I already have moving on to the second species uh, with this one, I I got lucky. This is a uh, unidentified species. Uh, looks like a Neo Stilopiga. I'm not exactly sure. This is an adult female, and I've been extremely lucky. Uh, I found her in the south of Thailand and under a log. And I thought it was a nymph, but actually it's an adult female. They have uh, vestigial wings so that's why it looks like this uh, here's a comparison side by side that real size with an also a neostilopiga rhombifolia so she has already laid three uticas uh, two of them are in the ground here's one of them and the third one is under the the bark uh, actually they they are able to create a certain type of glue around the Uthicas as they lay them and enwrap them in um, substrate or even can glue them under the, the bark. Uh, this species is really really fast and uh, very active especially at night. During the day they tend to cool down and so I'm using this opportunity to, uh, to record this video. I hope that these uh, that I can um, hatch these Uthikas soon, that I can see the babies and I've tried to find exactly, tried to research a little bit what species it might be. I found a, uh, an ad online on a Thai web, uh, page, on a Thai website selling these as commonly called Thai black runners but there was no indication of uh, what species they might be. So uh, I don't even know how to, uh, let's just call them pro tentatively Neostilopiga SP Black, that's it. 
So yeah, another species that I'll try to introduce in the Hobbit will be fantastic. Um, and jumping to the third species. Uh, once again, I was lucky. I found this in the same forest where I found the Periplanita quadrinotata. Unfortunately, uh, she lost her antennae, I think due, due to my uh, bad keeping. I think I wasn't keeping her properly until I got back to Macau. She also, uh, she also was mated and she has uh, produced three Uthicas as well. She, this is an adult female and, um, yeah, and I, while I was recording this video I've noticed that uh, actually the one of the Uthicas had, uh, was open and soon you'll be seeing me blowing some air and you're gonna see some babies running around so that's fantastic news um, again I am not sure exactly the species or the genus even the genus of this um, of this cockroach um, sometimes it's very difficult to research uh, comparatively to ants there's a lot of missing information and lack of research for the, the cockroach hobby and so sometimes you just need to stick with it so yeah i hope another species that i can introduce if it's not already in the hobby i don't know it's just a large it measures around 0 0.8 inches um, so i think it's quite large uh, and good looking so it will be interesting to see the colony develop and hopefully with bigger numbers I can spread them around and yet another species this one also found in the south of Thailand it's a Blatella genus I don't know the species, I couldn't find any references for those markings on the pronotum. She is mated, she has produced an Uthica, but unfortunately she has eaten that Uthica. I think I wasn't feeding her enough protein or enough food, so unfortunately she ended up uh, consuming it. She does look like she's plump again, so I hope that she can live long enough to produce at least one more Uthica. Uh, they will hold their Uthica until it hatches, so fingers crossed for some babies here, so another species to, to try to introduce into the hobby. And yeah, uh, really fast roaches. And now the last segment of the video, just some oddballs. Uh, these are not from Thailand, these are from China. All of them are um, males. And again, I don't know the species and what happens, what ends up happening is that I see some um, sellers trying to sell these random roaches that they find and uh, sometimes the pictures are not good enough, you cannot see if they're males or female, but I just take the risk, I, it's like a gambling, so I take the risk and I buy them and they end up being nothing. I'm still keeping them in hopes that the same seller or at least similar species or the same species. What I mean is similarly looking nymphs pop up again for sale and I take again the risk of buying them and actually can find uh, some, some pairs. But yeah, so I find that uh, they are quite uh, beautiful as well. I I'm waiting to see their adult uh, dress and in order to try to figure out exactly what they are. I really like this uh, red one, but uh, this is the type of uh, risks I'm taking to try to find new species to introduce to the hobby, uh, to give back and make everybody try to enjoy roaches. Um, yeah. So fingers crossed, see if I can find any of more, any more of these in the market. Um, 
yeah it's a pity some of these sellers they don't have the knowledge or the capacity to identify um, even the even sexing the roaches they most of them they are not capable of doing this so yeah uh, this is today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed uh, some oddballs here some different looking roaches and that you have enjoyed especially and mostly this one periplanita quadrinatata fingers crossed for this one i really want to introduce them into the hobby it would be a fantastic achievement and i am sure that everybody would uh, would want them uh, and yeah so thank you very much for uh, tuning in and watching the the video let me know if you have enjoyed in down in the comment section and see you in the next one bye bye thank you